Don't you hate when you pull a battery hungry device out to use it and it's dead? Keep watching, I'm going to show you how you can plug it in and forget about the batteries. So this is a pretty typical battery operated device. Runs off actually four batteries. Each one of these batteries, these are AAA, but um, AA, C's, D's, they're all 1.5 volts. It's just a larger battery, has more capacity, so it lasts longer. It would actually be nice if this could hold something like double A's or something larger so they didn't burn out so quickly. But they're all 1.5 volts. So you got 1.5, 3, 4.5, 6 volts. So I got 6 volts here. So this needs 6 volts to power it. So how am I going to power it? A transformer. A wall wart. And these come in a bunch of different sizes. A bunch of different configurations. But I did find one that is 6. So I'm going to be happy with that. On the other end, what we have is a DC power plug. With a uses a little pin in the middle and the outside and we've all seen these um, on different devices like this they just plug in pull out the most common size is a 2.1 millimeter pin a 5.5 millimeter outer so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take this off of this junk board put that in there and just plug this in and solder wires over to my positive and negative connections then on these transformers too you'll be able to tell what your polarity is for your little plug so you need one side positive and one side negative. Most of the time, the center hole is positive and the outside is negative, like this. You can see a little center pin. This one, the center pin is actually negative and the outside is positive. This is actually one of the only ones I've ever seen like that, but I thought I'd show you. So after a few seconds of looking, I pretty quickly determined that my positive terminal is right here and my negative is right here. And what I'm gonna do is to make solder stick better to steel, I just scratch it up a little bit and you won't fight getting adhesion. Now I'm going to take my power plug and I'm actually just going to solder that on real fast. There we go. And I actually made it so if you wanted to, all the batteries could still go back in. Just don't plug anything into that. And you can still use all the batteries. Just push the wire out of the way a little bit. Plug in all your batteries and run off batteries. But we're just going to leave it corded for the rest of this life. we got a little hot glue setting up right there put a little notch in the cover there we go got this plugged in slide it in and turn it on there it goes it's on how cool is that now these little ports are actually fairly cheap you don't have to salvage them like i did you can get them, you get a handful of them for five bucks or so shipped to you. So that's usually the way to go for these wall warts. And they're pretty inexpensive as well. I'll put a link below where you can actually get these little things and different size wall warts. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up, rate, comment, subscribe, guys. See you soon. Bye.